The weekly specials at your Jessa Piggly Wiggly just keep getting better and better. On sale this week at the Pig, fresh ground beef, just $1.98 a pound. Sirloin pork chops, a load, 98 cents a pound. Whole sirloin tip, $2.98 a pound. Fresh chicken leg quarters, only 88 cents a pound. Split chicken breast, $1.38 a pound. And T-bone steaks, sell priced at $4.98 a pound. Other super specials at Piggly Wiggly, juicy cantaloupes, get two for $3.00. Red ripe strawberries, get two one pound containers for $5. Fresh broccoli, $1.99 a bunch. Jumbo Vidalia onions, only 79 cents a pound. And russet potatoes, get two five pound bags for only $5. For all the specials right now at Piggly Wiggly, go to the website, thepig.net, and click on the Justin location. You can also order your groceries online and have them ready for you to pick up at the store. Get your groceries at your hometown supermarket, Piggly Wiggly, 440 West Cherry Street in Jessup. Did you have an appliance unexpectedly break down? Not in the budget? No credit? No problem. Stop by your local Sears hometown store today and lease a brand new appliance from our best brand selection of Whirlpool, Maytag, LG, Samsung, KitchenAid, and more. Not only does your Sears hometown store in Jessup offer leasing on brand new products, it's also at a low monthly price that fits your budget. So visit your Sears hometown store in Jessup today, 977 South 1st Street, for great leasing on new products. Agent income requires supply. See store for details. R&R Auto and Camper Sales, 2849 Savannah Highway in Jessup, has the largest and best selection of new campers. R&R carries Coachman Freedom Express, Coachman Chaparral Fifth Wheels, Primetime Avenger Travel Trailers, Primetime Lacrosse Travel Trailers, Vengeance Toy Haulers, and Forest River Products. R&R Auto and Camper Sales now rents travel trailers. Stop by and see Ray Moore and his staff and let them put you in a camper today. Give Ray a call at 427-8880. Visit the website at rrcampersales.com and on Facebook. R&R Auto and Camper Sales, 2849 Savannah Highway in Jessup. Do you have a dirty car or boat? Does your vehicle, home, or business need window tint? Are you wanting accessories for your vehicle? D's Auto Spa is the solution you've been looking for. We are your one-stop shop in Jessup on Cherry Street. We offer pickup and delivery services. Give us a call right now at 912-424-0680 or send us a message on Facebook and find out more about the services and accessories we provide at the quality you deserve. Are you wanting a fresh look in your kitchen, but afraid of the time and money it will take to get the look you've always dreamed of? Do you find yourself watching home remodeling shows and wanting that new look in your home as well? Well, at Kitchen Tune-Up, let us remodel your expectations. At Kitchen Tune-Up, we can give you a fresh, updated look in your kitchen in less than three days. We can reface or redoor your existing cabinets, or let us redesign your kitchen with all new cabinets and countertops. Kitchen Tune-Up is located inside your Sears hometown store in Jessup, servicing all of southeast Georgia. Visit us at kitchentuneup.com or call us a day for a free estimate at 912-424-8907. Local news on WIFO. It's time now for a look at the latest in local news. In the news, Ray and Ear still mourning the loss of co-worker Willie J. Roberts, who lost his life while working at the mill in Jessup on Sunday afternoon. The company is coordinating with the proper officials and authorities to determine what exactly happened. Roberts was 61 years of age, had worked at the mill for 41 years, was well-liked by those that worked with him. General Manager of Rainier, Clay Bethea, sent out the following message. It says, quote, We're heartbroken by the loss of one of our own, Willie Roberts. A well-loved employee of 41 years, Willie's loss will be deeply felt by his friends, family, and co-workers. We have shared our sympathies with Willie's family and offered our ongoing support during this time of terrible grief, end quote. Once again, authorities are investigating to, to determine exactly what happened on Sunday afternoon. Rainier states at this early phase of the investigation, there's no additional information to report. Once again, Willie Roberts lost his life Sunday while working at the Jessup Mill, a place where he worked for 41 years, again, well-respected and loved by his co-workers. As soon as we receive the funeral arrangements, we'll have that on our obituary announcements here on Big Dog Country FM 105.5. In other news, the case of State of George vs. Robert Donald Rogers set for this morning at 9 a.m. Jury selected yesterday as the state will retry the case after it ended in a hung jury months ago. Rogers charged with killing Richard Benjamin Trantham back in March of 2016. It occurred at Trantham's residence, a trailer at 1069 Sawmill Road in Kayville, Georgia. Rogers has remained in custody since the mistrial and since his arrest after the GBI's investigation. Once again, he'll be represented by attorney Grayson Lane. At the last trial, Rogers took the stand in his own defense 
and denied killing Trantham, told the jury that he went to the treasurer to just scare Trantham. GBI says Roger shot Trantham, but an interview with the GBI says he aimed at a porch light and missed, striking Trantham. The gun used in the shooting was never found. In the last trial, the GBI believed the weapon used was a shotgun, but in a taped interview with the GBI agent, Rogers told the GBI that it was a rifle with a scope on it. On the taped interview with GBI agent Richard Dow, when he questioned that, Rogers says in the interview, quote, I'm not lying, end quote. Once again, the last trial ended in a mistrial. The state is trying the case again, beginning today at the Wayne County Courthouse. Judge Roger Lane on the bench. The state hoping for a better outcome, looking for a guilty verdict. WIFLFM will be at the courthouse and will follow the story as it develops. Rogers charged with malice murder, felony murder, aggravated assault, and conspiracy to commit aggravated assault. The shooting death occurred in Cayville back on March 26, 2016. We'll be back with more news after this word from our sponsor of the commercial messages, so please stay tuned. Don't miss this. It's the Summer Drive in Neesmith, Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, and Jessup. Drive away with our exceptional live market prices. Drive most 17 Chevy Silverado 1500 crew cabs. 0% APR for 60 months for qualified buyers. Or drive 17 Chevy Silverado 1500 crew cab LTs up to 9600 off MSRP. Drive in today and drive out with these aggressive offers at Neesmith, Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, and Jessup. Most 17 Chevy Silverado. Auto 1500 crew cab 0% APR for 60 months. 17 Chevy Silverado 1500 crew cab LTs up to 9600 off MSRP. Hurry for these limited time offers at Neesmith Chevrolet Buick GMC in Jessup. Chevy, find new roads. 1667 every 1000 you finance plus finance with GM Financial not available with all offers savings offer includes price reduction below MSRP and cash allowance ends 83117 Advanced Healthcare Center on South First Street in Jessup is your one-stop health shop for most all your health care needs they offer same day appointments and walk-ins are welcome for medical chiropractic physical therapy and massage therapy care for immediate treatment and pain relief for injuries and illnesses of all conditions Advanced Healthcare specializes in the treatment of spinal and joint pains, headaches, neurological and muscle conditions, and family medical needs. Advanced Healthcare accepts and files most major insurance plans, accepts motor vehicle and workman's comp cases, and they make self-pay plans affordable for everyone so you can get the care you need right away. Call or walk into Advanced Healthcare Center on South First Street in Jessup or visit their website at ahc4health.com to explore the many ways they can quickly serve you. Advanced Healthcare Center, serving the Wayne County area for over 27 years. Feel better today. Shop and save with these August specials at Harris Ace Hardware. A Stanley 10-piece ratcheting screwdriver, normal price $13.99, now only $2.99 with Ace Reward Card. Buy two 20-pound bags of premium bird seed and get one free. And Spectracide Ready to Spray Bug Stop on sale at just $4.99. Stock up today on Ace brand air filters right now. Buy two, get one free. Plus, go to Ace Hardware for any construction project. From a doghouse to your dream house, Harris Ace Hardware on West Cherry Street in Jessup. Lincoln. In other news, the Wayne County Commissioners held their third and final public hearing regarding the millage increase on Monday evening at the County Commissioners Meeting Room. Horace Carter was on hand, attended, and simply asked what the millage increase is going to be used for. County Administrator and Commissioners on hand state that they simply have no choice but to raise the millage in order to make up for the monies lost last year. They state that without the two hurricanes, they may be in better shape, but they revealed last night that FEMA still has not reimbursed the county for all they promised of the 75% cost the, the county was expected to receive. They received only about 55 to 60% of the funds promised from FEMA. Also, they state plainly that a mill just doesn't raise as much as in previous years. In fact, close to $50,000 less as a mill of the previous year generated $675,000, this year only $629,000. Add the flip of money that hasn't been received, the state cuts, and the county commissioners feel that a mill increase is simply needed at this time. But Chairman Mike Roberts addressed Mr. Carter, who's in the audience, and says the county has a plan to get where they set a budget and stay within that budget. We got some calls in our reps, and they're going to try to help us get that money out. And Mr. Carter, we, we got a plan. I mean, we, when we started our budget session this year, we got a plan to, I mean, we've already frozen all hiring, we've, we've frozen spending, it's got to be very low, it's got to be something we know we got to have, or we've frozen that, and we're going to freeze some of those, and we got some other things that we're making a list of that 
we're going to do, I'm, I'm going to step up boldly and say with everything we're doing, we're going to balance next year. And I've talked to three or four people that helped me. And these guys, I'll share with them in the next few days. We got a plan that we're, we make a budget without extra money coming in that we hope it for. And then when we do that, when extra money comes, we'll take some of that and pay it on our tan, we'll take some of it and make us a rainy day, a rainy day fund. It might take us a little while. And I can be honest with you, I spent some time looking at the budget. We don't have two hurricanes and have the wettest summer we've ever had. We, we would be okay. We really would. I mean, you think about how much we spent on the hurricanes in fuel, gas, manpower, machinery, uh -huh. And all that it 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 all it punched us hard. It punched us hard. So we got we got to we 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 got to work on getting that tan down and getting us a, a, a fund. We got some money in that we can go to when we have a bird season. Yeah. So we we got a plan. And once again, the county administrator, Luther Smart, says rumors are flying that he intends to furlough employees. He stresses that simply that rumor. He says it's not under consideration. Other measures are in place, such as a hiring freeze. Other steps to look to keep costs down and go over the budget line by line and look for things to cut. He says any department head looking for an increase in their budget will have to really justify what the increase is needed for. Once again, after the public hearing closed, commissioners made a call meeting at 7 p.m. with everyone present, with the exception of Commissioner James Thomas, who was absent from the public hearing and meeting. Commissioner Wright made a motion to raise the millage rate one mil from 11.9 to 12.9. The motion was signaled by Commissioner Herschel Harris and all four commissioners on hand voted 4-0 to raise the millage by one mil. After the meeting and executive session discussed personnel, and after the session was over, a 4-0 vote to begin the negotiations for a contract with Mr. Ed Jeffers to become the next county administrator in Wayne County. That vote also unanimous at 4-0. Commissioners have to wait 14 days before they can officially name him the county administrator, according to their attorney, Andy Beaver. But Ed Jeffers, the only local candidate to apply for the position, has been selected at this time to be the next administrator, and negotiations will begin on a contract to hopefully make that happen. Ed Jeffords, a former commissioner from 2007 to 2010, when reached by phone last night, says he's simply excited about the opportunity. Says he'll speak more later about the process once it's completed. Jeffords has worked with Rainier Advanced Materials since 1984, currently serves as their senior project engineer for the Southeast Central Engineer Division. Once again, Ed Jeffords chosen to become the next county administrator. Again, the two sides will begin contract negotiations. Hopefully, if everything works out, should be announced officially by mid-September. One more note from the county meeting Monday. Herschel Harris wants to clarify that this one mill increase has nothing to do with the pool for Wayne County. He says it's gotten out that the mill increase is for the purpose of building a pool and nothing could be further from the truth. The reason for the mill increase has been well documented and reported both here and in the Press Sentinel. Harris says the update on the pool is that the committee meeting believes an authority to oversee the pool project is the way to go. He says that an authority can have a 5013C status have the ability to receive donations and possible grant money in order to raise the funds for a pool. Howard says the county simply doesn't have the money to build a pool at this time. He says the committee meeting is made up of him representing the county, Steve Larson, Mickey Thomason, City Manager Mike Deal, City Mayor David Earl Keith, Superintendent Jay Brinson, the high school swim coach. Howard says again that everything regarding the building of a pool is in a discussion mode. No decisions have been made, nothing written in stone. Everything is simply up for discussion at this time. Hire says the price tag for a new pool is approximately $2 million. Herschel Hire states Monday that, quote, the county wants to get out of the pool business and get into the participation business, end quote. Hire believes setting up an authority to oversee the pool project is a possible solution for a pool in Wayne County. But again, he stresses that a one mil increase has absolute, absolutely nothing to do with funds for a pool in Wayne County. WIFO film will continue to follow this process of a pool as it develops, but two summers have passed without one. It's a safe bet that the third will pass without one as well. Again, we'll continue to follow the story as it develops. We'll come back with some final news notes after this word from our sponsor of the commercial messages. So please stay tuned. Don't miss this. It's the Summer Drive in Neesmith, Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, and Jessup. Drive away with our exceptional live market prices. Drive most 17 Chevy Silverado 1500 crew cabs, 0% APR for 60 months for qualified buyers. Or drive 17 Chevy Silverado 1500 crew cab LTs up to 9600 off MSRP. Drive in today and drive out with these aggressive offers at Neesmith, Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, and Jessup. Most 17 Chevy Silverado. 
Silverado 1500 Crew Cab, 0% APR for 60 months. 17 Chevy Silverado 1500 Crew Cab LTs up to 9600 off MSRP. Hurry for these limited time offers at Neesmith Chevrolet Buick GMC in Jessup. Neesmith Chevrolet Buick GMC, home of the no hassle deal. Chevy, find new roads. 1667 every 1000 you finance must finance with GM Financial not available with all offers savings offer includes price reduction below MSRP and cash allowance ends 831.17 for the best breakfast lunch or dinner in town come to Western Sizzlin and Jessup they have the best hand cut steaks that are flame kissed to make them tender and juicy and then they cover them with their legendary gold dust seasoning the flavor is unbeatable also they have their huge lunch and dinner buffet and don't forget about their breakfast buffet Thursday through Sunday mornings so the place to come eat today is Western Sizzlin, located at the corner of 1st Street and Sunset Boulevard in Jessup. Get yours today. The WIFO WMLP Football Pocket Schedule. Keep up with the complete football schedules for Wayne County Yellow Jackets, Georgia Southern Eagles, University of Georgia Bulldogs, Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets, Atlanta Falcons, and Jacksonville Jaguars. The Big Dog Country and Fox Sports Radio Football Pocket Schedules are free and are available at Jones Drugs and Jones Prescription Shop, Jessup Western Sizzlin, David's Clothing, Interstate Credit Union, Murphy's Builder Supply, Neesmith Chevy Buick GMC, and Kitchen Tune-Up located inside your Jessup Cedar store. Pick up your free WIFO, WLOP football pocket schedule at any of those locations. That way you'll know what's going on each and every football weekend. Your sports leaders for Southeast Georgia, Big Dog Country, WIFO 105.5 FM, and Fox Sports Radio, WLOP 1370 AM, The Buzz. Bringing you exciting live play-by-play football action all season long. Final notes and news. Reminder, Wayne County voters head to the voting booth on Tuesday, November 7th. Vote yes or no on the continuation of the county SPLOS, which is projected to raise $21 million over a six-year period. Also on that day, the city of Scriven having city elections. Two contested races in Scriven after qualifying in it on Friday. One for the mayor's seat between Donald Boyette and Jason Weaver. Also contested council posts between two candidates, Melvin Boyette and Lee Stevenson. Council seats one, three, four, and five all uncontested. Post one, Jody Minkeldorf. Post three, Raquel Wright. Post four, Bobby Gray. And post five, Lonnie Murphy. Again, the election date, Tuesday, November 7th. Last day to register to vote. In order to vote on November 7th is October the 10th. And don't forget the blood drive coming up for Wayne Memorial Hospital. It's going to take place Wednesday, September 13th from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. You can sponsor or you can pre-register by visiting redcrossblood.org and enter sponsor code Wayne Memorial Hospital. Again, ask you please come donate blood on that date. All blood types are needed. Walk-ins are welcome. Again, the date Wednesday, September 13th from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. at Wayne Memorial Hospital adjacent to the cafe. That's going to do it for the latest in local news. Sports comes your way in a few minutes. Bob Morgan said have a great day. You've been